Welcome back. We won at hide and seek. Except we're supposed to find this girl, Carol, who we never actually met before. She's their secret weapon, and nobody seems to know where she is. However, we do actually know about a Carol. Carol Driscoll. Who was the daughter of Jetta and Marilyn. And didn't she die? We saw her grave, didn't we? I guess that's, you know, the best hiding place there is. The final hiding place. C. Driscoll. Missed dearly by mother. Yeah, I guess that must be Carol's grave. Well, I normally wouldn't quite uh, think this is a good idea, but we have to prove to Dennis that we found everybody. So, I guess we're digging up graves after all. This decayed child must be Carol, Dennis's secret weapon. And then Larry just drags her off on a wagon, because that's not creepy. I see that you and Carol are, um, very close. Yeah, I'm so happy she's back. Thanks for helping me find her. Uh, sure, I guess. I guess that, uh, she was his sister. Still kind of a weird thing to do. I mean, not any weirder than anything else we've seen here. Anyway, I hope Dennis will agree to give us the key now. Let's hope we didn't dig up graves for nothing. Oh, wait, you twisted little freak. I dug up your secret weapon. Satisfied? Now hand over the keys. Aw, oh, man. You suck! Here's your damn key! Thanks, Dennis. Alright. We got ourselves the keys, finally. Let's see what we can find inside the general store. A key. My prize for winning Dennis's twisted little game. Alright, at least it was the actual key. Kinda hard to get through the door here. Let's see what's here. I doubt the circus will be coming to this town anytime soon. Okay, I think we've established that. An empty old gas can. That could be useful. If we need to transport any liquids, gas or otherwise. I think this key also lets you go into this door. Okay. It does. Looks like someone made a fort out of cardboard boxes. That is what Dennis said, that their fort was in here. But there's nothing else here. You don't need anything from here. Alright, well where else can we go? We still have uh, this broken bridge to deal with. And apparently we need a stepping stone. Spring flood must have washed out the bridge. Needs some kind of stepping stone. Hmm. And we actually already have what we need. Now I have a spring pig. Joy. The spring pig. <laughs> Okay, that was just incredibly silly. And it looks like we found the pumpkin patch, which everybody is terrified of, so I don't know if that's a good thing. Also another kid here. My god, she's half worm. Half worm? You're pulling a Lido Atreides II on us here. 
This girl's eyes are missing. Was she in some sort of accident? Uh, excuse me, little girl, but could I talk to you for a second? Sure, mister. I don't get many visitors. May I ask your name? My name is Maria. Maria Santiago. Maria was sent to the pumpkin patch, we were told earlier. Because she had been bad, I guess. Where are we? What's the name of this town? There is no town. Not anymore. Um, I beg to differ. I mean, most of its inhabitants are gone, but the town itself is still there. What do you mean, not anymore? There was a town before Mother got here. People were happy. Everything was fine. Before your mother came to town? What do you mean? You're new here. You just don't understand. That is true. I still don't understand anything that's going on here. No, I don't understand. You're only confusing me more. Could you explain it to me? Start at the beginning? I'm sorry. If you want to really understand what's going on, I think that there's lots of newspapers and stuff in the town hall. But I haven't seen them. Come back in a little while and we'll talk some more. I'd show you the way to the town hall, but my eyes... We actually already saw those newspapers and other, um, papers. I've read the old newspapers in the town hall, Maria. Oh, good. You found it. What do you want to talk about now? I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are they? Where are your parents? I'm sorry, but Mother has forbidden us to talk about them. We actually already found them, so kind of a pointless question. I keep hearing about Mother, but it doesn't sound like she's anyone's real mother. Who is this person? She's resting right now, otherwise I wouldn't speak to you. You're right though, she isn't anyone's real mother. She's really... <gasps> what is it, Maria? I think she's waking up. I can't talk anymore. Mother will hear me and get awful mad. But, oh damn it! I think we really need to uh, speak to this mother, don't we? Forbidden? But why? Why can't you talk about your parents? Please don't be mad. I'd tell you if I could. It's just that, well, I'll be punished again if I do. Punished? How? The pumpkin patch. She'll have me put in the pumpkin patch again. It's a terrible place. It doesn't look so bad from here. Once you're inside, everything turns bad. Okay. You've been in there before? Yes. The others dragged me in there. The other children? They did as they were told. Mother wanted to teach me a lesson. What lesson, Maria? Not to look for our parents. Mother said we should never, ever do that. But I was too curious. Mother saw me. She told the other kids that I was bad. Then she made them put me in the patch. I don't remember much. Just those nasty birds. Black wings. They pecked at my eyes. It hurt a lot. But when the birds were done, Mother took the pain away. That, that, that's horrendous. How could she do such a thing to a child? It's okay. It's not so bad now. I'm kind of used to it. Anyway, once Mother wakes up, everything will be better. Okay? What are you... Please, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I've already said too much. Okay, the more we learn about her, this mother sounds more and more like a horrible, horrible person. Just letting birds peck out the eyes of one of the kids? The newspapers mentioned a preacher named O'Toole. Did you know him? Yes. He was real scared about the comet. I remember him saying at church that God was mad about the pumpkins and that he was going to punish us for taking advantage of the land. What? I mean, I'm hardly an expert on God. 
I don't even believe in any gods. But I'm fairly sure I've never heard of a god who gets angry about pumpkins. A comet. Is that what happened here? Did the comet somehow make the plants around here grow so wild? Mother told us that the comet was a sign of her coming. A sign that we were special children. Okay. So Mother and the comet are connected, I guess. Why pumpkins, though? I really don't get it. Nothing wrong with pumpkins. It's pretty fun to go to pumpkin patch on Halloween. Hmm. The gate has a combination lock. This pumpkin patch apparently not so nice. We still want to go in there, because I have a feeling that's the only way to get to Mother. I'll need the right combination to open this. Now, let's see. Okay, so it's a three-digit combination lock. Which means it's fairly even the brute, uh, fairly easy to brute force, even if you don't know the answer. But we've been given two pretty clear answers. Two pretty clear hints as to what the answer is, I should say. The first, uh, probably most obvious one, is um, the church, which had the sign saying Psalm 451. And the gates to heaven. Well, I don't think this is the gate to heaven, it's the gate to the pumpkin patch, which, from the sound of it, is anything but heaven. But that is the correct code. The other hint you can use to get this code is the uh, tic-tac-toe wins and losses by Jesse. I guess the fact that there's another tic-tac-toe board here is supposed to indicate that. And, um... There we were told that Meg beat her four times, Eileen beat her five times, not seven, and we beat her once. So again, four, five, one is the right answer, so let's try that. I guess it's time to check out this patch. Alright, looks like that worked. Well, this old junker isn't going anywhere. Looks like it. It'd be really easy if we could just walk this way. Game does not let us, though. There's a scythe here. Which we can pick up. Slice and dice, baby. When we'll need that scythe, because as soon as we get uh -oh. into the pumpkin patch, patch, these birds start attacking us. <gasps> You get a total of three hits. Every time you get hit, your heartbeat accelerates. Until finally, you quote-unquote die. It actually just returns you to the start of the patch. So there's no need to save, unless you want to avoid having to walk again. But, um... It can actually be easier to not save, because if you get sent back, any birds that you've already killed will still be dead, so... And your health, your hit points get reset, I guess. Uh-oh. Which makes that easier. Fighting the birds isn't very hard. It just can be kind of annoying to click on them. Just keep walking. Stop whenever you see a bird dive at you. And click him. There we go. Doing pretty well so far. Alright, three at once. Looks like that's all of them. But then we get to deal with this thing. Damn, he keeps coming. There must be another way. Yeah. 
you can actually not hit him. You have to hit the pumpkins instead. And he's probably gonna get me, yeah, I thought so. Which means I just need to walk all the way back over there. It's kind of annoying. But at least the birds are gone, and I already got the one pumpkin. It's annoying he walks so slow as well. Okay, I don't know what you're doing, but... Okay, I'm having a hard time with this. Alright, but I should be able to get the remaining three pumpkins. Hopefully, in one go, so we don't have to do this whole walk again. Which is not made easier by the awkward controls. There we go. Now we can kill him. Got him. I guess he thought it was better to burn up than fade away. I I don't get it. This part closes off so you can't leave while fighting, although it opens up again to let you through if you do die and need to go back, as you saw. And I think we found the comet. This rock must be the source of all the monstrous plant life. It appears metallic. Metallic? Okay. No combination needed for this gate. I don't think you can open it while he's still following you, though. You know, this comet kind of reminds me of the one stained glass window that Max didn't know what it was, that I said kind of looked like cheese. I guess the whole stained glass window were all just showing this. It showed the pumpkins, the comet, the kids. If you don't do anything for a few seconds, he just yawns and sometimes starts complaining about standing still for too long. Weird. Why would that be in the ch in the sanitarium? An old gas-powered generator. That could be as well. Must be out of gas. Seems like it. Hmm. If this is a generator and the rock is metallic, maybe there's something we can do with that. Should conduct electricity if we can get it over there. I doubt the circus will be coming to this town anytime soon. Well, they sure have enough posters up for it. Another tractor. What a piece of junk. Probably only good for spare parts. Looks like a jumper cable. Might be useful. Perhaps? What we need is gas, though. I guess we should get that from the car on the beach. But how? We have a gas can, but no way to get the gas out of the car. Alright, let's see what's in here. Okay, I guess we found Mother. That is a lot worse than I was expecting. What a huge, disgusting nightmare! That's pretty good, mildly. Also, that's what she said. So, you finally arrived. I suppose it was inevitable. 
Yet, I hoped that the pumpkin patch would deter your progress. Apparently not. I must admit that I'm intrigued as is how you arrived here. I was certain I weeded out your kind before sleep overtook me. Meat secretions hang in the air around your body. They offend my senses. My god, what are you? I am beyond your understanding, human. However, you may call me what the children do. Mother. Okay. I guess this is what arrived here on the comet. And one's responsible for the deaths of the adults. Mother, I should call you what you are, nothing but a disease. Mind your tongue, human. I am more parent to these seedlings than you or anyone else could be. These aren't your seedlings, they're children. Flesh and blood, don't you see that? I see, and it disgusts me. Animal sacks filled with loose cells. It's a wonder you don't burst. What an inferior vessel for the spirits of these children. Okay, I guess this is some kind of plant-based life form. Doesn't seem to like animals very much. But why have you done this? The children were in danger. Danger from what? You've done more harm than... Than what? You? <laughs> the mate called Jeda showed me how harmful your kind can be, as did the one called Preacher. I have a feeling I know where this is going. Jedda. I saw his name on the pumpkin patch sign. What does he have to do with all this? He made me see the evil of your kind. How destructive you are. Jedda preyed upon his own child, making her suffer and die. The entire town turned a blind eye to Jedda's crimes, and I watched. The people's vicious disregard for Carol's safety was no less a crime than her father's. So you killed them? Their own inner chaos would have destroyed them eventually. I only expedited the event. Set things in order. Well, you know, she... almost has a point. <laughs> Why were you so concerned about Carol? She talked to me when no one would listen. I tried to communicate with them, but... Carol's voice was like... music to me. She was my favorite. And I failed her. I guess this is kind of like a, you know, we were the monsters all along situation. Although, what this thing's been doing to the kids is not much better, to be honest. How does the Preacher figure into all of this? What could he possibly have done? He was a superstitious fool. He spread paranoia and fear, swaying the others away from rational thought. The humans put their trust and faith in him and follow. When the Preacher assured them that Jetta wasn't a real threat to Carol, they listened. Spreading paranoia and fear and um, turning people away from national thought? I think that's the Preacher's job description, isn't it? If you're as omnipotent as you seem to think you are, then why haven't you weeded me out also? In due time, little me. For now, you are of little consequence to me. My name is Max, not Meat. 
Your name is meaningless. An animal noise. And you are nothing more than a bag of meat. If you truly feel that way, then why have you spared the children? Aren't they meat too? Yes, and you have seen them bickering and divided. Yet, they are not beyond hope. The children still have some innocence, which, with some reconstructing on the cellular level, I will cultivate in order to give them salvation. And you think that you can offer them salvation? What conceit! It is not conceit! After I complete their transformation, the children will be one with me forever. That is their salvation. Transforming them into simple plants? You call that salvation? Simple plants! Insulin meat! You know what your problem is. You lack structure. The cells in your body are practically floating away. It makes me sick to look at you. Everything around you is in chaos. My form is superior in every way to your weak flesh. Um, agree to disagree, I guess? I guess that's what's been happening to the kids, though. She's trying to turn them into... plants. Sure. If my flesh is so weak, then why are you afraid of me? Afraid? Of you? <laughs> you overestimate yourself. I think you're the one who overestimates yourself, you perverse, bloated egomaniac! You impudent wretch! Ah, I've got to kill that diseased monster before it kills the children. All right. Um. A wrench, courtesy of, well, thanks, Mom. So a wrench on the floor here. That could be useful. Yeah, we need to find a way to kill this monster. Because as much as she is right about the, you know, the parents of the adults not being very nice around here, I don't think what she's doing is any better. If turning them into plants won't just outright kill them, it's definitely not, still not a nice thing to do. And maybe we can electrocute the rock if we can get this generator going. In order to do that, we will have to uh, make our way back through the pumpkin patch. Unfortunately, there's no faster way of getting out of there. Now this whole thing is giving me a lot of uh, uh, reminders of the Thorian in Mass Effect. At least there aren't any creepers to deal with. And I guess the Thorian just brainwashed the adults. Didn't kill anybody. And unfortunately I lack Commander Shepard's arsenal of weaponry to deal with uh, this creature. Can we talk to the kids about her? You're Maria, right? That's right. Maria Santiago. Yes. I... I know about Mother. I've seen her. She's not human! Don't you understand what she's... Mother is good. Mother is the way. Mother protects us from meat who will harm us. The meat must be killed so that the seedlings may grow. We are all seedlings. Okay, so much for Mother not brainwashing them. Meat? What are you... Maria? What's wrong with you? 
It's too late, Max. She's strong again. As strong as before. When she took all the adults, I... 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 I can't think straight. I... I... Maria's safe now. They're all safe. Soon all the sickness will be gone, and my ceilings will be one with me. Free to live and grow. You are sick too. Sick with flesh. You need my help. Breathe deep, crude meat thing, and be cleansed. Okay. Well, we definitely need to find a way to kill this creature. But we'll do so in the next video.